Catherine with cnc.com back for another weekly eBay sales update video and sold another Disney mug $18.74 that's the price um, this is a hunchback of Notre Dame I originally paid a dollar seventy for it it is going via the global shipping program buyers paying shipping on that so I ordered some small boxes six by six by six from Amazon so that I would have on hand for um, global shipping orders and that one will fit right in there it's Saturday night and I just sold this set of dishes from Restoration Hardware their cheese I'm really disappointed I thought these were gonna be at least like a $25 sale but uh, the uh, completed listings on these just weren't very good the most they'd gone through was 15 um, a lot less than that for the others so I priced mine at $14.99 and then it got put on sale. So it just sold for $11.99. Fortunately, the buyer's paying shipping, of course. Um, this is actually going to California. Parcel and priority to California from here on this because it's in the three to four pound range was 15 bucks and change. Uh, fortunately, I can get it into a medium flat rate for a little bit less. Uh, and then this Tommy Hilfiger, oh, and I think I paid a dollar for those. Uh, this Tommy Hilfiger women's shirt, I got at Goodwill during half off sale. So it was like $2 and change. Uh, and again, this is on sale and it's sold for $14.99. Buyer is paying shipping and it is light enough to go via first class in a poly bag. It's now Sunday morning. I had one sale overnight. This is an Old Navy women's denim jacket. It's a size extra large. I got it at a Goodwill sale for about two... Well, let's see, coats are now $5.95, so let's just say $3. Uh, and it sold on sale for $18.74. Buyer, of course, is paying shipping. It is over a pound, so it's going to go in a flat rate bubble mailer. It is Sunday night, and I just sold this set of three Christmas mugs. They are potpourri press mugs that I have gotten. I think I either paid a quarter for them or they were at a fill a bag sale. Uh, and I lotted these three of them together and they sold on sale for $18.74. Buyer is paying shipping, so just need to find a box to send them in. It is going to be cheaper to send them priority, so I think I'll just put them in a big uh, 12 by 7 by 7 or is it 12 by 12 by 7? Uh, one of the big priority mailboxes. It is Monday and I had one sale overnight. This set of Hallmark uh, small Disney Halloween ornaments sold on sale for $11.99. Buyer paid shipping and these are light enough to go in this box via first class. I just sold this vintage University of Nevada, Las Vegas snapback hat uh, on sale for $14.99. Buyer's gonna pay shipping. It's light enough to go via first class. I'm usually able to get hats at the estate sales for like 50 cents or a quarter, so I'm sure that's what I paid for it. Glad to see some of the hats moving, because I have a lot. Just sold the, uh, what is this called? Happy Apple something vintage Fisher Price toy. It is, yeah, Happy Apple. Uh, you can see. Ding, ding, ding. Got it at a fill a bag sale and sold on sale for $14.99. The fun will be shipping this because I'm sure the mail service will be like, what is that inside the box? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't cause a problem. It is Tuesday morning. I had two sales overnight. This denim jacket, Liz and Me Signature. Uh, got it at Goodwill during half off sale. So it was like less than three bucks. And it sold on sale for $18.74. And then this set of silver plate soup spoons. These are William and Rogers, Primrose brand from 1912. These sold on sale, had to look again, for $37.49. Buyers, of course, are paying shipping on these items. The jacket is going in a flat rate bubble mailer and the spoons are going in a small flat rate box. Markdown manager is my best friend. <laughs> If you're having trouble with sales and you have a store, I highly recommend Markdown Manager. You get some cash going, you get some stuff out of here, make some money, clear some room. It's Tuesday night and I just sold this men's long sleeve Polo Ralph Lauren Pima Cotton Polo Rugby Henley. <laughs> 
I think it's called, yeah, rugby style, I guess, um, on sale for $14.99. Buyer paid shipping, and it is light enough to go via first class. Just sold these Raggedy Ann dolls, and Raggedy Ann and Andy, I should say, um, on sale for $26.14. There's six of them in here, uh, and I paid $6 for all of them together. Uh, there are condition issues on these, so I did price them according to that. Like the eyes are messed up here. Got some sort of issue here. Um, not all of them had uh, tags or readable tags, so I priced them accordingly, but still a good profit. They were easy to list and they'll be easy to ship. Buyer paid shipping, of course. These are going to weigh over a pound, so I'm going to ship them in a uh, priority mailbox. It is Wednesday and I've had two sales. First is this little vintage Bible. It's not in very good condition, uh, but it did sell for $11.24 on sale. It's going via global shipping, buyer's paying shipping in a bubble mailer. And then this is a, oh, and I probably got this either free or fill a bag. Uh, this is a My Recipe Book vintage make your own cookbook kit that I got for a dollar. And it sold full price for $24.99, buyer's paint shipping, and it is going via priority mail. I just sold this Holly Hobby metal tray for $19.99, buyer paid shipping, of course. Kind of big and awkward. My dad's going to have to make a box for it. It is now Thursday, very slow day. I've only had one sale so far. Uh, this uh, Lauren by Ralph Lauren women's shirt, it's an extra large. I got it at Goodwill for $2.00 and change um and it sold on sale for my favorite price of eighteen dollars and seventy four cents or i guess that's the customer's favorite price uh anyway buyers paint shipping and it is light enough to go in a poly bag via first class it's friday morning and i had two sales overnight first is this junior size levi's denim jacket that i got at goodwill on sale for less than three dollars uh and it sold on sale for seventeen dollars and I think 49 cents, some, something would change. Buyer's paying shipping, it does weigh over a pound, so it's gonna go in a flat rate priority bubble mailer. And then this little Boston Terrier figurine, this is made in Italy. I got him at an estate sale, I think for 50 cents. And he also sold on sale for $18.74. Buyer's paying shipping, and he's gonna ship in a little priority mailbox. Just sold this Disney Parks uh, shirt with an embroidered Mickey Mouse on it, size 2X. I got two of these at a Goodwill sale, uh, paid like $2.12 each. Uh, the other one sold last week, and so this one just sold on sale for $18.74. And it is light enough to go first class, so it's just going to go in a little poly bag. So I keep my shipping boxes downstairs with my inventory, but I do have this shelf up here with some envelopes at the ready. Uh, these are the poly bags I talk about a lot that uh, I use for clothes because they just don't add anything to the weight. So I have a few different sizes. I get them from value mailers, but you can also order them on Amazon. So I'll link them below if you want to check them out. I have these bubble mailers with like the gusseted bottoms on them. I have some mailers that I get from Sam's Club, and then this is my stack of flat rate priority mail bubble envelopes. So just a small selection that I kind of keep at the ready um, for when I'm doing a piece of clothing or maybe a book that's going media mail. I can just grab one of these uh, envelopes and put it in. Mm -hmm. 